Well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting my videos and everybody who has been watching them. Indeed, we've got a lot of feedback. We've got a lot of response to some of the phone calls that I've made. Well, right here is where I call Nestle Australia. That's right, the company that makes the ice creams and they make uh, the Milo bars, they make Nesquik. Uh, they make a whole lot of things, including Maggi noodles. It contains 621. That's right. That's the cancer-causing substance that's causing a lot of cancers in our Western cultures. For a bit more facts on the information, click the link that you see on the video here. That cancer is caused mostly in Western people's kitchens. You'll wonder why when we got companies like this supporting Israel. Well, here I am calling up the Nestle company. And guess what? I find out that most Australian consumer helplines have never even heard of Palestine. I kid you not. Have a listen now as we call Nestle Australia Consumer Helpline. Thank you for calling Nestle Consumer Services. As a nutrition, health and wellness company, Nestle encourages regular activity and healthy eating. Why not visit the nutrition section of www.nestle.com? Nestle Consumer Services, Sarah Casey. Yes, a very good morning, Sarah. How are you? Thanks. How can I help you? Fantastic. I was just wondering if you could tell me a little bit more about Nestle products. Well, ma'am, uh, when I go and buy um, a Kit Kat bar, for example, or a, uh, a Maggi noodle packet, is my money going to um, to support um, oppressive regimes in other countries? Support what, sorry? Oppressive regimes in other countries. What's that? Uh, a regime is like when a dictator takes over and starts to kill his own people? No. No? No, it's not. Really? Do you know what companies Nestle actually donate their money to? In what country are you referring to? Well, I'm asking, do you know what countries they do? We, in Nestle Australia, we donate a lot of our proceeds and that to registered charities and organisations. Oh, oh, sure. I'm sure you help, you know, help the starving children. I'm sure you assist the uh, people of Africa getting their water. But do you know what countries that Nestle actually support and donate a lot of their money and time to? Like, for example, if I bought a Kit Kat bar for $2, did you know 20 cents of that actually goes to an oppressive regime country? And what country is that? You didn't know that? Which country is it? Israel. And how do you know that? Well, I've done a bit of research, you know. I wouldn't work for a company if I didn't know who they were supporting. Well, what, who said that we are supporting? Sorry, I just want to know where you've got your facts from. My facts are coming from StopFundingIsrael.com. In fact, Nestle are one of the largest companies that do support Israel. They own 50% of a company called Asham, which feeds most of Israel. Okay. They're a huge supporter of Israel. Every time you go and buy a Kit Kat, 20 cents of that is going to pay for a bullet that goes into a Palestinian child. Are you aware of that, ma'am? I wouldn't think that's true. You're not aware of that? It's, it's not speculation, it's fact. Well, why are you calling me and telling me this? Well, you should really know who you're working for. You know, it's okay to say, well, I'm just doing a job, but that's what the Nazis said in Nuremberg. Well, I was just following orders. I was just doing what I was paid to do. Do you feel happy doing that? I don't, I really don't know what you're talking about, to tell you the honest truth. You don't know what I'm talking about. You've never heard of Israel? I've heard of the country, yeah, of course. Have you heard of Palestine? No. You've never heard of Palestine? No. You don't know where that is? No. It was where Jesus was born. Oh, there you go. And you've got no idea? No. Nope. Okay, well, that's, that's neither here nor there, so I'm not going to even go there. So you shouldn't. That's well, business. so I shouldn't. Really? Well, maybe there's somewhere I should go and let you know the facts about Israel. Well, I don't need to know the facts of Israel. You don't need to know that? You're okay. quite happy living in ignorance and, and actually supporting the genocide of the Palestinian people what? by your complicity? I don't. Look... This conversation is not really going anywhere, so I suggest that you... I think it's going somewhere. You just told me you've never even heard of Palestine. What kind of educated people are they raising? You know, you obviously weren't picked for your well, job for your intelligence or your education, because you obviously have none. Well, that's entirely up for you to think, but you don't know me, so I wouldn't start to question you. Well, you just gave me a good idea, because you've never heard of Palestine. Hi. Wow. Now what I'd like to know here is why do people keep hanging up on me? Am I such an asshole? No wait, don't answer that, I already know the answer. <laughs> well, not to be dissuaded, do you think I would have given up there? Mm -mm. Not in your lifetime. Steve Johnson does not give up that easily. Here I go as I call the main number, the main switchboard, and speak to the receptionist, trying to get to somebody else. One of our operations, I can't... 
thanks for calling Nestle Diane speaking. Yes, a very good afternoon, Diane. How are you, ma'am? Fine, thank you. Fantastic. Listen, I just heard that uh, nutrition, health, and wellness is at the heart of what Nestle does. Is that correct? Uh, I believe so. You believe so? Okay. My question to you, ma'am, is the nutrition, health, and wellness of what kind of people? Everybody? Yes. Or is it just select people that Nestle want to be uh, healthy and well and other people they don't care? That I don't really know, sir. You don't really know? You're working for a company and you don't know what their uh, ambition is? Whose ambition? Nestle's. Mm. I'll tell you what, I'll put you on hold. I've got the calls to answer, okay? Well, you can put me through to your supervisor. Who's your supervisor there, ma'am? Of, of, of which? Of, of you, of you. She's not here at the moment. Okay, is there anybody there in the factory of, of like 10,000 people working there? Is there anyone I can talk to? In the factory? We don't have a factory here. Well, what about your supervisors in the office? Is, he, is he, his supervisor in? So hang on a moment. Who did you wish to speak to? Somebody who knows something about what Nestle does. Well, they do a lot of things. I mean, it's we sell uh, foods, etc. We have factories. Okay, who's responsible for your PR? Public relations. Yes, ma'am. And advertising. For advertising. Do you have an ethics department? Uh, is it something to do with the media? Well, simple question. Do you have an ethics department? Ethics? Yes. Not to my knowledge, no. No, I'm not surprised. Did you want to speak to someone about nutrition, did you? Well, nutrition, health, and wellness, I'm sure that only covers the Israeli people. Have you heard of Palestine, ma'am? Yes. You have? Yes. Amazing. Did you know that they're actually supporting the genocide of the Palestinian people? Nestle are supporting Israel in doing that? I think I'll just put you on to someone that can maybe talk to you, sir. Just a moment. Thank you for your help. Thank you. Hello, you have called Bonnie Ray English, Executive Assistant to the CEO, Brian Campbell. Unfortunately, I'm away from my desk at the moment. Please leave your name, telephone number and a brief message and I will get back to you on my return. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or hold for more options. Yes, a very good afternoon. My name is Steve Johnson, hoping to speak to the uh, Chief Assistant Executive of the CEO there at Nestle Australia. That'd be fantastic. You can give me a call back here on my number. I look forward to your call. I really, really do. Thanks very much, and ciao for now. Oh well, I did my best. At least I got through, and at least one person out of two has heard of Palestine. I guess I've done something today. I've at least taught one person a little bit of geography. But do you think I'd stop there? No. No way. I'm an asshole. I called up again. As a nutrition, health, and wellness company, Nestle encourages regular... Consumer Services, this is Natalie speaking. Yes, a very good morning, Natalie. I just read on your website that nutrition, health, and wellness is at the heart of everything Nestle does. Is that correct? Uh, well, yes, that is our slogan, yes. Is that just for everybody or for certain people? How so? Well... The, the, the Palestinians in, in West Bank don't look too healthy lately. I don't know if you've seen them. Oh, that's right. You haven't heard of Palestine, have you? I said, do you have an inquiry about our products or Nestle specifically? I'd like or? to know exactly how much of the money that I spend when I buy a Nestle product is going to, to fund the bullets for the Palestinian children. How much exactly? Is it 20 cents out of every $2? I don't believe any is, sir. It's well, that, you're incorrect, actually. Okay. Nearly $7 million a day is going to be funded to Israel. That's just for their military. That's just to, to shoot the Palestinians. And, and a lot of that is coming from Starbucks, McDonald's, Nestle. Your company is supporting genocide. Okay, so I'm, I'm Do you feel really good about that? So can I actually speak for just a moment? Where are you actually sourcing this information? Because I'm pretty certain that that is incorrect. There's a lot of people who found out this information. In fact, it's, it's quite easily available. You know, there's also a thing called an atlas where you can actually look up what countries exist in the world, you know? You don't have to live in ignorance. You can do a bit of research, and a lot of people are doing that. Again, can I just ask you where you source that information? I would like to report it, because that is actually not true. Sure, there's a, there's a thing called the Internet. Yes, so we And it's got a lot of facts on there. If you'd like to do a Google search, I'm not your Google bitch. You go right ahead and do that. Okay, that language is inappropriate, so goodbye. <laughs> Well, gee, once again, I found out that nobody really wants to talk to Steve Johnson. I'm such a lonely guy. I can't get anybody to stay on the line with me for long enough to give him some facts. They don't seem to want to talk to me. I guess if I wasn't such an asshole, 
maybe they would. But then again, maybe I wasn't harsh enough. You know, ask the Palestinians living in the West Bank if they're being harshly treated. Ask the Gazans if they're being harshly treated. Gee, when I put that into perspective, I don't think I'm being harsh enough. But that's all for now. That was Nestle's call. Look out, the rest of you companies. I'm coming after your ass. But not in a gay way. That's all for now. Take care. God bless you all. And stop funding Israel.